Hi fire signs, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is currently feeling. So the current energies around them. What you need to know. What are they thinking? And we'll check out the overall message first. Oh, and there we have it. It's dropped. Where did it go? There it is. Okay. Overall energy is the Seven of Swords. Okay, they're feeling like they've been betrayed or they've been, you know, they've been lied to. So there's some sort of betrayal here. They feel like you've kept something from them, fire signs, and they're not too happy. Um Okay, they're, they're getting carried away with their thoughts here as well. So overall energy, seven of swords, uh, possibly an air sign here. We do have the moon that's come up. So it can be Cancer, the moon that's come up in the picture here. Okay, we also have the king of swords. Um, you might have had a recent conversation uh, or it could indicate they want to have some sort of conversation and address their thoughts here to you. So I feel like they're going to open up about some some things going on here. Um, there's also judgment coming up. We've got judgment. So they may feel judged um, or they're worried you're going to judge them. Maybe about something they've done in the past. Could be something they've cheated, they've lied. I mean, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. But it, they could be blowing it out of proportion here. But they want to tell you, okay, it's something that they've done, I feel, with the Ace of Wands here. They want to tell you, they want to communicate. The moon, it could be a Cancer or it's someone that's sort of um, very emotional about this. So you might need to give them time. Um, we've got the Queen of Wands, so they're not letting, not letting you see this side to them. Maybe they're not ready. The King of Wands is reversed. The Queen of Wands is upright. The King of Wands is reversed. So there's Divine Masculine or the male in the connection. Um, maybe failing to hide it, whereas the woman is better at masking it. So if you're, if the, if you're dealing with a woman um, or someone who's identifying as Divine Feminine, she's possibly handling it better Um but the king of wands is, is reversed. So I'm saying divine masculine is reversed. Um, it may be that they've done something worse, the male, the king of wands. Or it could indicate that um, they're not good at masking whatever it is that's going on here. Or they're not good at handling judgment, maybe. Okay, they feel like they're being dragged down. I feel like they're being dragged down in the situation by their emotions. Eight of Cups, she's being drowned by these other goddesses here. So it's water energy, so they're like drowning in their emotions. Um, for some of you, I feel like Seven of Swords, this person has tried to be careful and not to get too attached to you or fall for you too quickly. Um, but it could be that that's happening anyway. So they're noticing this about themselves. And maybe that's where we have this... this you know, like maybe they fell for someone in the past really quickly and they got hurt, they got burnt, so they're scared. The moon can also be the past, so past energy repeating itself or some sort of familiar pattern is going on between you and them and they're scared it's going to, you know, not end well. Okay, king of swords can be like fear. You can see this this dragon here, this, this reptile-like creature. Um, I get defeat. He's defeated in the background. Okay, so they're almost like they're out of energy. I do like that Ace of Wands because I feel like you are that destined fire sign in their life and they know it. So they obviously know that you are very, you have a very powerful connection. Um, they're clued on to this. They know it. Um, 
they know it, but you know, they're scared to fall too quickly. I think they've, this person has been hurt before, either by you or by someone else. And they're not wanting things to get too deep. And when things get, when things do get too deep, like too emotional, or you talk, start talking about your vulnerabilities, they sort of back away here. They, they're not ready to open up because maybe they fear you're going to judge them. Or like, I don't know, is this person an avoidant attachment style? Because it's like they're avoiding their emotions here. Um, but it's like a full moon. You can see a full moon in this imagery. So, hmm. Full moon, heightened emotions. Could also be that the, they want to open up. I think the opportunity will come and they'll take it. They'll open up to you about what's going on here and why they're holding back the way they are. I think they'll be honest. There's children in the judgment card. Um, maybe immaturity. Or, you know, because children can represent, like, fear. Children are easily scared. So it, it might be like their inner child. I, I think it's honestly fear of getting hurt again or fear of the unknown. And I think that's making them feel this way. They've got a lot on their mind about your connection. But there's like a heavy weight that's dragging them down. I wonder if it's something that they want to tell you that they feel they can't. And it's sort of getting heavier each day, each week, each month that passes. It can be some sort of secret. The moon is a subconscious. It's something to do with their feelings or, or, or their secret or a past relationship. A person they were in a past relationship with. I mean, it's good to see that the power couple has come up. The king and the queen of wands has come up in the reading. Even though the king is reversed, I feel like it's still a good sign. Um, and for those that are taking a break or a separation or if you're in no contact, it can indicate that this is only temporary. And that the judgment card is some sort of news or communication that's coming in between the two of you. And King of Swords is here. So I feel like they're going to talk to you about that Seven of Swords, why they're feeling that kind of energy, which is good. I think it shows vulnerability. The moon is also us being in a vulnerable state. So, yeah, to see that, I think it's, it's very powerful of what it represents. It could also be that this person didn't mean to fall as, as hard and as fast as they have. Maybe they were intentionally only putting their, uh, their toes in the water and then you came in and all of a sudden they're feeling the moon and they're like, what's going on? I'm so drawn to this person. I wasn't supposed to fall, be with them, fall in love with them. And they're like anxious about it, right? I think this person has um, maybe an avoidant attachment style. They could still be somewhat in denial about their true feelings, but they've been thinking about it a lot, which is good. King of Swords means they're processing things, which is positive for you, Fire Signs. It's, it's a positive development, and I think there's positivity that can come from this as they think and express and sort of process things. It will become easier for them, which in turn will become easier for you. So I'll leave it at that, uh, Fire Signs. Again, it was for Aries, Sag, and Leo. Um, if you were after a private reading, please feel free to reach out directly. I've got my email listed in the About Me section on my YouTube channel. Uh, and I really wanted to say um, a big, big thank you for being so supportive of the channel and um, all your viewership. It really does mean a lot. You know, there's so many talented readers out there. So I'm glad you have dropped by to my channel. Um, I hope it's been helpful. 
thank you again so much and I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. So thanks and bye for now.